Now, the dissolution of National Assembly in Pakistan has really prompted opposition leaders of that country to head to the Supreme Court. A three-member bench of the Supreme Court of Pakistan has heard suomoto notice following constitutional situation that arose. In fact, the Supreme Court has adjourned further hearing in this matter until tomorrow. A notice has been issued to the Attorney General for the hearing. Supreme Court has restrained state officials from taking any unconstitutional action on this matter. Chief Justice of Pakistan, in fact, the Chief Justice of the Pakistan Supreme Court has said all political parties should ensure peace and harmony as it's Ramadan and everyone is fasting. Here you have the speaker, the visuals on your screen there, showing how the speaker, while uh, right after hearing Imran's minister, the IMB minister, Fawad, right after that, the speaker said that there could be foreign conspiracy and therefore a no confidence motion is dismissed and therefore the assembly is dissolved. The opposition calling this entire move by the speaker is unconstitutional. The matter has now reached the Supreme Court. Supreme Court while hearing the matter says the matter will be heard tomorrow and requesting people not to take, uh, in fact to maintain peace and order considering it's also the month of Ranzan and people are fasting. This is what the Supreme Court has heard while observing those petitions. Now, in a rapid turn of events, Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan has asked the President to dissolve the National Assembly and announce fresh polls after the last-minute dismissal of the No Trust motion. Here's what really went by. Dramatic twist in Pakistan's political power game. Chaos breaks out after Imran Khan's bouncer. Pakistan Prime Minister losing numbers, staring at certain defeat and ouster from power. Decided to cling on to power via back door. Imran dramatically called for dissolution of parliament and fresh polls. Moments after the speaker dropped a bombshell and rejected the no trust motion. Imran Khan called for fresh elections after no confidence motion against him was rejected in the National Assembly. Allah is calm ke upar dekh raha hai. 27 Ramzan ko ye Pakistan wajood mein aaya tha. Ye is tarah ki saazish inshallah ye qoum kamyab nahi hone degi. Main aaj apni sari qoum ko mubarak dena chahta hu. Ke National Assembly ke hamare speaker ne mustarad kiya hai reject kiya hai. एक वो मूव रिजीम चेंज की जो कोशिश की गई थी पाकिस्तान के 22 करोड़ आम में एक बाहर से प्लान किया हुआ नो कॉन्फिडेंस मोशन जिसके पीछे एक फॉरेन एजेंडा था और जो आज स्पीकर ने उसको जो रिजेक्ट किया है और ये नो कॉन्फिडेंस को जो रिजेक्ट किया मैं सारी कॉम को आज मुबारक देता हूँ तो जो स्पीकर ने आज जो अपनी अथॉरिटी अपनी जो पावर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पावर यूज करके जो फैसला किया है अब इसके बाद मैंने अभी से प्रेसिडेंट साहब को वो भेज दिया है एडवाइस भेज दी है कि असेंबलियां डिजोल्व करें एक डेमोक्रेटिक सोसाइटी में हम डेमोक्रेट्स अवाम के पास जाए अवाम से इलेक्शन हो before Imran backed deputy speaker Qasim Suri nullified the motion and termed it against the constitution. The Prime Minister's close aide and INB Minister Fawad Chaudhry cried foul play and claimed foreign conspiracy to topple the government. सात मार्च को यह बताया जाता है अदम एतमाद उस वक्त तक पाकिस्तान में नहीं आती आठ मार्च को आती है इस वक्त तक पाकिस्तान में भी किसी को नहीं पता अदम एतमाद आए हमारे एस पी साहब को बताया जाता है कि पाकिस्तान से आपके हमारे ताल्लुक का दारो मदार इस अदम एतमाद की कामयाबी पर है एक अफेक्टिव ऑपरेशन है जनाब स्पीकर रजीम चेंज का बाय अ फॉरन गवर्नमेंट Khan sent a proposal to President Arif Alvi to dissolve the assembly, essentially making way for early elections to be held in Pakistan. The President soon obliged.
After the unexpected move in the National Assembly, opposition staged protest inside the House, conducted its own session, staying adamant on ousting Imran. A jubilant PTI tweeted images of a smug Imran Khan in all smiles after the trust vote stunner. Imran has decided to stay on as the Prime Minister in a caretaker role before polls. The opposition says it is just a facade to destroy democracy and stay on in power despite lacking numbers. Who will have the last laugh in the Pakistan political quagmire? Vidalia Zehra in Islamabad, Bureau Report, India Today. Now, Imran Khan mocks the opposition after cancellation of the no-trust motion. Imran Khan has said that his actions have surprised the opposition. He says that the opposition never saw what was coming to them. Also reiterated foreign conspiracy claims during his address after the National Assembly of Pakistan was dissolved. Here's a look. I want to remind you that when I came in the evening, you all have मुझे आप सबको कहना पड़ा था घबराना नहीं है असल में देखें मैं जरा आपको समझाना चाहता हूं कि ये हुआ क्या है क्योंकि अभी तक वो ऑपोजिशन को समझ नहीं आ रही हुआ क्या है नहीं उन्होंने रियलाइज नहीं किया कि जब जिस वक्त पाकिस्तान की नेशनल सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल ने वाजे तौर पे कह दिया कि पाकिस्तान की ये जो नो कॉन्फ्रेंस मोशन थी इसमें से बैरून मुल्क की इंटरफेरेंस थी नेशनल सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल जिसमें सारे सिक्योरिटी चीफ्स बैठे हुए थे सब बैठे हुए थे उनके सामने पूरा वो जो कम्युनिके था पाकिस्तान के एम्बेसडर अमेरिका में और उनका जो डोनाल्ड डू जो भी उनका रिप्रेजेंटेटिव था उसके सारे ये ऑफिशियल मीटिंग थी इस ऑफिशियल मीटिंग के नोटे के बैठे हुए थे दोनों तरफ और वो मिनट्स वो वो जो वो जो कॉन्वर्सेशन था हमारे एम्बेसडर और उनके ऑफिशियल का वो सारा कॉन्वर्सेशन फिर जब बताया गया हमारी नेशनल सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल में तो फिर एक उसके बाद मिनट्स जारी किए गए उसके उन मिनट्स के अंदर ये चीज कंफर्म की गई कि ये एक बाहर से प्लान बना था जिसमें इंटरफेयर किया गया था पाकिस्तान की इंटरनल पॉलिटिक्स में और ये जो ये जो नो कॉन्फिडेंस थी इसकी बुनियाद बाहर थी हमने वो चीज़ें लिखी नहीं वहाँ के कैसे यहाँ एम्बेसी के लोग मिल रहे थे जो लोग हमारे से जब जब छोड़ के गए जो लौटा हुए तो इनको बकायदा एम्बेसी के लोग मिलते थे उनका क्या काम था देखिए हेड्स ऑफ कई दफ़ा बात पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज के हेड्स को इसलिए मिलते हैं कि वो पूछ सकते हैं मुल्क के सूरत हाल वगैरह लेकिन इन लोगों को मिलने का उनका क्या था तो वो सारा कनेक्शन था उसका नो कॉन्फिडेंस मूव जो कि बाहर से इनिशिएटेड थी तो जब एक दफ़ा मुल्क की हाईएस्ट सिक्योरिटी बॉडी ये कंफर्म कर देती है तो उसके बाद तो ये प्रोसीडिंग्स ये इरेलीवेंट थी कि नंबर्स कितने हैं तो मैं आपको ये बता नहीं सकता था कल रात क्योंकि मुझे डर ये था कि ये वो आज वो शौक में ना होते अगर मैं सबको बता देता <laughs> Now, the move to dissolve the National Assembly might have saved Imran Khan's government momentarily, but have further damaged the already fractured democratic system in Pakistan. Clearly, we're seeing a crisis within his own party. Here's a look at what went by. Solidly held that. Oh, that's a big shot. Oh, he's bowled him. One of Pakistan's greatest all-rounders of all time, a bowler par excellence who was considered unplayable when ball tampering was legal in the 80s. And the first wicket down, Imran Khan, the great Pakistan all-rounder. 
30 years after he retired from the cricket pitch, Imran Khan Niazi has demonstrated that his talents for tampering to swing things in his favour have lost none of their potency. He may be beaming now, exuding the delight of one who has pulled the rug from under Shehbaz Sharif and Bilawal Bhutto, who led an opposition army to cast Imran unceremoniously out of office. But Imran has landed his country in a constitutional crisis. For one thing, Imran Khan appears to have made a move that flies against the mood in the all-powerful Pakistan army. Averting his ouster just a day after Pakistan's army chief obliquely criticized Imran's foreign hand conspiracy theories. लेकिन कहते हैं कि वो गुस्सा तब बिल्कुल ठीक हो जाएगा हम माफ कर देंगे पाकिस्तान को अगर इमरान खान ये अदम इतमाद की ये हार जाता है यानी अगर इमरान खान चला जाता है तो पाकिस्तान को माफ कर देते हैं वी शेयर अ लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री ऑफ एक्सीलेंट एंड स्ट्रेटजिक रिलेशनशिप इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट व्हिच रिमेंस आवर लार्जेस्ट एक्सपोर्ट मार्केट वी सीक टू ब्रॉडन एक्सपेंड आवर टाइज विद बोथ कंट्रीज विदाउट इंपैक्टिंग आवर रिलेशंस इंटरनेशनल रेप्यूटेशन The opposition may be pushing things when it cites a looming civil war, but as caretaker prime minister on the back foot, Imran Khan still faces unrest and opposition even from his own party and government. A possible revolt within was triggered shortly after the National Assembly drama with Imran's attorney general and deputy, the two top Pakistani legal officers resigning. इमरान खान फेमसली लॉस्ट हिज कैप एंड नर्व फेसिंग अ बाउंसर प्लेइंग फॉर सस एक्स इन नाइनटीन एटी वन असोल्ट दैट गैलवनाइज हिम टू बाउंस बैक एंड डेमोलिश द राइवल मिडल सेक्स टीम ऑन द फाइनल डे ऑफ दैट फेमस काउंटी टेस्ट Forty-one years later, it's Imran who has delivered the bouncer, and it remains to be seen if Pakistan can put him in his place. Bureau report, India today. Now, Pakistan's powerful army says it has absolutely nothing to do with the prevailing political situation in their country. In fact, the military spokesman, Major General Babar Iftikhar, has made these remarks while speaking uh, on a private television channel in Pakistan. It came in the wake of rejection of a no-confidence motion and subsequent dissolution of the National Assembly by Pakistan President Arif Alvi on the advice of Prime Minister Imran Khan. Pakistan army which has which has now ruled the coup prone country of Pakistan for more than half of its 73 plus years of existence has wielded considerable amount of power in the matters of security and foreign policy and according to prime minister Imran Khan the top army leadership met with him last week and ordered three options to resolve this political impasse which included one his resignation two facing a no confidence motion or three early elections Pakistan army has rejected Imran Khan's contention that the United States is out there to oust him over his Russia trip slamming his foreign conspiracy theory. Jo jis tarah ki inhone besharmi se gaddari ki hai is qoum ke sath sabit ho gaya ki ye bahar se puri saazish thi ye sabit ho gaya hamare paas national security committee ne कैबिनेट ने सब ने वो डॉक्यूमेंट देख लिया है पार्लियामेंट की जो जो सिक्योरिटी कमेटी की मीट कमेटी है उसने ये देख लिया डॉक्यूमेंट ये जो मैं आपको कह रहा हूं ये ऑफिशियल डॉक्यूमेंट है कि इमरान खान को अगर आप हटाएंगे तो अमेरिका के ताल्लुक आपसे अच्छे होंगे अगर आप आ, आ, हम जैसे आप इमरान खान को हटाएंगे आपको माफ कर देंगे पाकिस्तान इंजॉय अ क्लोज स्ट्रेटेजिक रिलेशनशिप विद चाइना डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड बाय आर कमिटमेंट टू वर्ड 
Pakistan China Economic Corridor or CPAC. Equally, we share a long history of excellent and strategic relationship with the United States, which remains our largest export market. We seek to broaden and expand our ties with both countries without impacting our relations uh, with the other. Now, amid the ongoing instability in the Pakistan government, it's the Pakistan military which always has the final say here. While all fingers currently pointing at Imran Khan for economic mismanagement, we're going to bring to you some of those details of the kind of wealth the Pakistan army has raked up over the years. Pakistan army, through its different trusts, is known to be the biggest business house in Pakistan. Here's more. Pakistan's armed forces has always had the final say. After ruling the country for half of its history, the Pakistan military, even till date, acts as the towering authority, calling shots behind the scenes. Pakistan's civilian leaders have long clashed with the military. They either go along with the army or stand at risk of being ousted. This time, it's Imran Khan who's fallen out of favor. While all fingers currently point at Imran Khan for economic mismanagement, here's a look at the kind of wealth the Pakistan army has raked up over the years. One of the reasons why they're entrenched in the country's politics. From street corner petrol pumps to banks, sprawling industrial parks, dairy farms, cement plants, schools to bakery houses, the Pakistan army through its different trusts is known to be the biggest business house in Pakistan. The Pakistan Army controls over 50 conglomerates worth approximately $20 billion. Yes, that's the estimated wealth Pakistan Army has generated. In a written response to a question by a senator from the Pakistan People's Party, the then Defence Minister Khwaja Asif admitted, there are nearly 50 projects, units and housing colonies functioning in the country under the administrative control of Fauji Foundation, Shaheen Foundation, Bharia Foundation, Army Welfare Foundation, Defence Housing Authorities. The Pakistan Army's most prized assets are the several housing societies in eight cities of Pakistan. They boast of land worth over 2 lakh crore rupees. Army officers are entitled to receiving prime land at discounted rates. In fact, profits from these businesses are distributed among shareholders, many of whom are now retired soldiers. The Pakistan Army and its corrupt practices have been widely discussed. Aisha Siddiqa, the author who detailed information on Pakistan's military wealth in her book called Military Inc. Inside Pakistan's Military Economy, claims that Pakistan Army's private wealth is split between $10 billion in land and $10 billion in private military assets. She also estimates that military controls one-third of all heavy manufacturing in the country and up to 7% of Pakistani private assets. Meanwhile, according to Credit Suisse's February 2022 report, 25 former Pakistan Army officers have accounts in Swiss banks. Undeclared assets of about 80,000 crore rupees deposited, 15,000 crore rupees deposited in the account of former ISI chief General Akhtar Abdul Rahman Khan and 500 accounts linked to 1,400 Pakistani citizens. Some of the most prominent Pakistani army men who have been accused of large-scale corruption include General Shafatullah Shah's property, worth 5,000 crores, was exposed in London. Former ISI chief, Major General Nusrat Naeem's offshore companies, worth 2,700 crores, came to light. Former Army chief, General Ashfaq Khiani's brothers, involved in multi-billion housing scandal in Islamabad. General Asad Dur was found to have undeclared assets worth 2,000 crores in a Swiss bank. General Asim Salim Bajwa invested 22,000 crores in American pizza chain Papa Jones. General Rahman allegedly helped funnel billions of dollars in cash and other aid from the United States and other countries to aid Afghanistan's Mujahideen in their fight against the Soviet Union in the 80s. 
General Parvez Musharraf has built nearly 30 properties, fancy farmhouses, luxury apartments in the Middle East and London, along with houses in Karachi and other Pakistani cities. And it's not as if the Pakistan army is underpaid. A three-star general retires as a billionaire in Pakistani rupees. Pakistan state gives concessional plots, both commercial and residential, along with huge grants of agricultural land. There are innumerable scandals and sordid stories of financial bungling, of bribery, extortion and more by serving and retired generals for personal profit. There are also reports of their involvement in smuggling rackets and narcotics trafficking. So far in the history of Pakistan, 72 officers above the rank of major have been suspended on charges of corruption. Bureau Report, India Today. All right, now Imran Khan was famous as a playboy. He was once known as one. The cricketer Imran Khan was very popular for his brilliant strokes and outstanding bowling as well. He was equally famous for his string of girlfriends. But all that changed as soon as he declared his marriage to Jemima Goldsmith. Since 1995, with the rise of Imran Khan, the politician there was also a new character that was created. Imran Khan, the much married man, thrice so far. Let's have a look. Priyabhi's gone. Imran Khan, the great Pakistan all-rounder. There was a time long ago when Imran used to be a very fine bowler, right both the on the pitch and off it as well. Even later in life, when Imran Khan, the cricketer, was becoming Imran, the politician, his off-the-pitch bowling record shifted from easy catches to being caught out well short of the boundary and multiple times too. The first time that Imran was declared caught, it was 1995 and politics was possibly just a gleam in Imran's eyes. But the gleam that caught his eyes was that of a daughter of the British financer James Goldsmith. Once upon a time socialite Jemima converted to Islam at the time of their marriage. Together, they had two sons and portrayed the picture of a happy family. Jemima was the cornerstone during Imran Khan's first foray into election campaigning in 1997. But nine years of the Imran-Jemima marriage ended in divorce in 2004. They remained friends and when Imran was arrested and politically persecuted in 2007, Jemima rallied behind her former husband from Britain. When Imran Khan was accused of money laundering, it was Jemima Khan who tweeted to prove his innocence and provided evidence in his favour during the legal battle. For about a decade after his first innings, Imran Khan sat out at the pavilion for bachelor politicians. And then he padded up to bat again. In 2015, the now 63-year-old Imran Khan got married for a second time. A whirlwind romance with a British journalist of Pakistani origin had Imran Khan's popularity rising more than what his political moves could. In Pakistan, everyone spoke about how the handsome Pathan was a charmer and how in both his marriages he had swept much younger British women off their feet. Jemima Goldsmith had been half his age at the time of their marriage and Reham Khan was two decades younger. But it was there that the similarities ended. In his shortest marriage innings ever, Imran saw Reham Khan stomp off the field a mere nine months later. But this time the house that call was acrimonious and Reham Khan's bitter memoir three years later hurt politician Imran Khan's homegrown popularity. But marriage, unlike cricket, need not end in just two innings. However badly mauled Imran got in the second one, he took guard once again in 2018. Six months before he was to become Prime Minister, Imran Khan married for a third time. 
in a low key ceremony in lahore he teamed up with the one who the local media dubbed a faith healer bushra wat too was the stark opposite to both jamaima and reham khan the bride was flanked by her mother brother and children she was covered from head to toe in a burqa and it seemed that once again imran khan was changing the makeup of his team to suit the requirements of the pitch he was bowling on as the flamboyant ex cricketer raising money to build his cancer hospital jamaima had been a big help as the flashing pathan tackling the big bad boys of politics rehan had fit the picture but as prime minister of the islamic republic of pakistan imran khan needed bushra wat to's silent presence managing the family herd